How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and these are my dogs, Camper and Rodney Delventhal. For over three years, we lived in a Toyota Prius, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter. And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. We would be so thankful. You know what I'm dreaming about? How hot I look in this shirt. Hey, yo, me too, bro. Just a reminder, there's only two days left to get one of our exclusive t-shirts, then sales close. Information will be in the description. Just go to shop.nickydelventhal.com. Good morning. <laughs> You're on Rodney. Do you know who's under there? Let's get him out of here. <laughs> Good morning, boys. Oh, the sun's not even up yet. We have an early start, you guys. Good morning, everybody. So we woke up here at this beautiful lake in pretty much the middle of nowhere, Nevada, but it is gorgeous and so serene. All you hear is just traffic on the main highway. Uh, and we are here because we are on our way to Reno Airport. We have about a two, three hour drive left and a lot on the agenda today. But first we are gonna enjoy this beautiful view because that's why we woke up so early. We gotta get the dogs inside, there's a coyote. Right there in between those two bushes. Come on, Rodney. Let up. Rodney. Don't worry guys, I did get Rodney a coyote vest. Uh, just waiting for it to come in the mail. It's gonna take a few weeks. Uh, but by the time we get back, it should be in Reno. <laughs> Wait till you guys see this thing. So you would think that living in a car, air travel would be a lot harder, but on the contrary, I think it's a lot easier. You'll get there the night before, you can wake up on your own time and feel refreshed. You don't have to worry about a ride or an Uber. And when you get back, you have your home there waiting for you. Now, there are a few things you are going to need to know and do to ensure a smooth experience, but we'll get into that later. We're going Prius style this morning. Old habits die hard, huh? Scrunchy method. Honestly, you guys, this is like the one scrunchie I've managed not to lose in 10 days. <laughs> it's actually been like three years. This is amazing. That's huge. I lose everything I touch, literally everything. Ask my family. 
Oh yeah, it's a dessert kind of morning. Puppy Chino coming right up. Wow, that's good. Now I know why you drink so much coffee. Hey, yo, lady, why you been holding out on us? That stuff is good. Morning routine. Gotta keep that fitness going. Camp, you want to take this one? No, didn't think so. So contrary to what you guys see, I actually used to air travel quite a bit. Um, I worked as a tour guide in over 20 different countries and solo traveled to definitely over 50 of them. And ever since I adopted my dogs, uh, I started to kind of avoid air travel because uh, of the logistics around it. For one, uh, obviously I don't like being away from them for that long, but also it's hard to trust people with reactive dogs, um, which I have. Uh, and also, lastly, it can get so expensive. Uh, the average for a sitter or a dog trainer, I would say is around 60 to $125 a day per dog. So you're looking at like $1,000 a week sometimes plus. Uh, so yeah, cost definitely comes into effect. Now, over the past few years, I have done a ton of interviewing and a ton of vetting, and I have found five people around the country that I'm willing to drive for days just to watch my babies. Uh, so that's one of the reasons we frequently go to Reno Airport is one of those five people is there. So let's hit the road. Still on slippers. We gonna rock down to Electric Avenue and then we'll get some gas. Oh! All right, the chronicles of what did Nikki lose today? Where's my wallet? <laughs> Where did I put it this time? It's over here. No. Is it up here? No. I always put things away thinking I'm gonna remember where I put them. And then I don't. Things need to have a spot. Wait, it has to be over here. Oh, there it is. Alrighty then. Oh my God, you guys look so cute. I can't take it. All right, we are just gonna do some winterizing to the fuel here. Uh, in previous vehicles, I didn't have to do that because I didn't have diesel fuel, but now I do because temperatures are predicted to get below freezing. Um, normally something that's not something you really have to worry about too much, but I also have a heating system back here that uses the same fuel with lines that are so thin that if it does gel up even a little bit, that is a very expensive fix. So we wanna avoid that. Wait, this isn't working. Hang on. Of course, there is a casino inside the gas station. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. That's why it wasn't working. All right, topped off. All ready to continue on the adventure. All right, boys, next stop, we get you dog food for the week, and then it's staycation time with your buddies. Seriously, this place is incredible. They even have doggy treadmills. <laughs> so cute. Do 
you remember where we are? <laughs> I think he does. Camper knows we're here. Hang on, we're gonna turn around and say hi, okay? Out of respect for Courtney, I don't wanna show you where she lives, but let's just say the dogs are very excited. <laughs> you guys ready? Who's ready? Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Bye, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Oh, you just want to go have fun. You just want to go have fun. Okay, go have fun. Go have fun. See you guys. I'll see you later. Love you. <laughs> see you later. It makes me so happy that they're so excited to be here. Uh, so that made that a lot easier. Now, what do you say we get to the airport? The weather has taken quite a turn. Let's talk airport parking. So I really like Reno Airport because one, it's across from the terminal, so you're not taking a bunch of buses. There's always traffic, so you feel better about security and stuff like that. Um, the price, uh, I'd say it's kind of in the middle with outdoor parking being $12. I've seen less, but I've also seen more, so that is what it is. Now with my rig being over 10 feet, sometimes parking here can be a little bit stressful uh, because it does fill up really quickly, especially on holidays and stuff like that. Um, today we shouldn't have an issue, but that's definitely something that you're gonna wanna look up if you're not used to an airport, is the clearance, how big the lots are, things like that. All right, we're gonna park over here underneath the light and near traffic, so there are always eyes on the vehicle. And we are gonna back in, actually love these backup cams like a glove I know I hear you thank you we picked the ideal spot for overnight and long-term parking this is perfect good job uh, but this is also perfect because we do want to be in the sun that's something to think about if you have solar because that will continue to recharge the batteries but let's say worst case the batteries do die we're also using the sun as like a worst case scenario to keep the van warm because it does get below freezing here and something that you do not want to freeze are batteries and pipes so we're gonna do some winterizing in a little bit but that's just worst case scenario and kind of how to keep it all together, at least in this. In other rigs, didn't have to think that far, but the more complicated you get, the more you gotta think about, apparently. <laughs> Believe it or not, this actually blacks everything out. It's pretty amazing. So I didn't think about food here because I didn't want to, you know, waste and go shopping so we're just gonna figure out something here out of what we have oh well, we've got cheese all right not much else here yep that's not gonna help us what are we gonna make oh beans rice I like where this is going. Oh, maybe some quinoa. All right, here we go. How bad could this possibly be? <laughs> you guys, if we were on that show where you have like, you know, those like gourmet chefs who have to make food out of all those random uh, ingredients, I would lose. I have no idea what to do with this, but. I guess we'll find out. All right, we're gonna start by rinsing some rice and quinoa. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna save whatever's for breakfast. Okay. Is it weird to cook this in bone broth? I just wanna use everything. I don't like waste. Oh God, it's stuck. There you go. All right, that's what we call a masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, what else can we do with this? Maybe some cashews? Is that weird? No, that's cool. All right, now we'll have leftovers for tomorrow. It's not that bad. 
have some more sloppy joes, kids. <laughs> All right, so there are a few more things that we are gonna wanna think about here. One of those, which I've learned the hard way, is when you park long-term, sometimes your car battery dies. So you need to figure out how to jump. So some airports like Sacramento airport does this. Uh, they have a number that you can call and someone will come and jump your car. And I'm pretty sure it's free. Uh, that is super cool. Um, but other places, I don't think they do that here. Uh, you'll want to have like AAA or I have the Mercedes one. Um, yeah, really smart to have. Oh my goodness, you guys. I crushed it. I lied. If I was on that show, I might have done really good if I had a spice rack. <laughs> I'm going to use these to prop my shower up. <laughs> Don't drink. <laughs> See. Floor towel. <laughs> I know. So big, right? All right. We need to drain our water tanks so that way the pipes don't freeze. So what better way to do that than taking an indoor shower? An indoor shower. I also have an outdoor shower in case you're wondering. Again, this is just precautionary because the last thing you want is your tanks freezing or your pipes freezing because that is also a expensive and timely fix. Oh, let's save battery. Turn that off. Reminder. Don't forget to drain water pipes. My goodness, you guys, I am ridiculously tired, so I'm gonna pack up and go to bed. that's everything. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I like to let that dry so it doesn't mold. What a long day. Oh, I am ready to go to sleep. We will deal with all that. Clean up our shower. <laughs> Don't forget, drain your water. And my GoPro's on the roof. <laughs> Good thing I wrote that because I would have forgot. All right, we're gonna wear the same clothes as yesterday. Drain pipes. We only got like two gallons left, so we're good. We're gonna finish draining this one too. All right, fan off. Is everything off? No, it is. This is off. All right, we are gonna set the heat to 52. Open doors for circulation. Cover windows. Seal off the front. Didn't forget this on the roof this time. All right, ready to go. Where's the other strap? early for this. All right. One more light. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We love you all. Cannot wait to show you what we're getting into. We'll see you next week.